The British Aerospace Skyflash, or Sky Flash in marketing material, was a medium-range semi-active radar homing air-to-air -air missile derived from the U.S. AIM-7 Sparrow missile and carried by Royal Air Force F-4 Phantoms and Tornado F-3s, Italian Aeronautica Militaire and Royal Saudi Air Force Tornadoes and Swedish Flagvapenet Vigans. Skyflash replaced the original Raytheon conical scanning seeker with a Marconi inverse monopulse seeker that worked with the FFAS radar. Monopulse seekers are more accurate, less susceptible to jamming, and able to easily pick out targets at low altitudes. It offered significantly better performance than the original seeker, allowing British aerospace to dispense with upgrades to the warhead that were carried out in the U.S. to address poor accuracy. Skyflash was tested in the U.S., but after trials against experimental monopulse seekers from Raytheon, the U.S. Navy elected to order a different monopulse-equipped version of the Sparrow, the AIM-7M. Both Skyflash and AIM-7M were later replaced by the more capable AMROM. History Skyflash came out of a British plan to develop an inverse monopulse seeker for the Sparrow AIM-7E2 by GEC and the Royal Aircraft Establishment Ray at the end of the 1960s. Having shown this was feasible, Air Staff Requirement 1219 was issued in January 1972, with the project code XJ.521. The contractors were Hawker Siddeley and Marconi Space and Defense Systems the renamed GEC Guided Weapons Division. Major changes from the Sparrow were the addition of a Marconi semi-active inverse monopulse radar seeker, improved electronics, adapted control surfaces and a Thorn ME active radar fuse. The rocket motors used were the Bristol Aerojet MK-52 Mod 2 and the Rocketdyne MK-38 Mod 4 rocket motor, the latest is the Aerojet Hupu. Tests of the resulting missile showed it could function successfully in hostile electronic countermeasures ECM environments and could engage targets under a wide variety of conditions. It could be launched from as low as 100 meters to attack a high-altitude target or launched at high level to engage a target flying as low as 75 meters. The missile entered service on the F-4 Phantom II in 1978 as what was later called the 3000 pre-temp series, Tornado Embodied Modification Package. In 1985, these aircraft were replaced with the Panavia Tornado ADV. Both the Phantom and the Tornado carried the Skyflash in semi-recessed wells on the aircraft's underbelly to reduce drag. In the Tornado, however, Fraser Nash hydraulic trapezes projected the missile out into the slipstream prior to motor ignition. This widened the missile's firing envelope by ensuring that the launch was not affected by turbulence from the fuselage. Skyflash was therefore converted to the 5000 Temp series to incorporate the Fraser Nash recesses in the body of the missile, launch attitude control electronics in the autopilot section and improved wing surfaces. The Tornado Skyflash combination became operational in 1987 with the formation of the first Tornado F.3 squadron. From 1988, a further modification, 6000 series, nicknamed Super Temp included the Hupu rocket motor to change the missile's flight profile from boost and glide with a 4-second burn to boost sustain glide 7-second burn, increasing its range and maneuverability. In RAF service the missiles were usually carried in conjunction with four short-range air-to-air missiles, either AIM-9 Sidewinders or ASRAAMs. A version with an active Thompson CSF developed radar seeker and inertial mid course update capability, Skyflash Mk2, called Active Skyflash, was proposed for both the RAF and Sweden. British interest ended with the 1981 Defence Review. British Aerospace Bay kept the proposal around until the early 90s, but there were no buyers. 
Further advanced sky flash derivatives were studied under the code name S225X, and a ramjet powered version, the S225XR, became the basis for the MBDA Meteor. In 1996, the RAF announced the launch of the Capability Sustainment Program, which called for, among other things, the replacement of the Skyflash with the AIM 120 AMROM. AMROM incorporates an active seeker with a strap-down inertial reference unit and computer system, giving it fire and forget capability. The first Tornado ADVF.3 with limited AMROM capability entered service in 1998. In 2002, a further upgrade enabled full AMROM capability. The first mention of AMROM as a replacement for Skyflash dates back to 1986. Topic. Characteristics Primary function, medium-range air-to-air missile Main contractor, Bay Dynamics, with Raytheon as subcontractor Unit cost, £150,000 per round Power plant, Rocketdyne solid propellant rocket motor Length, 3.68 meters, 12 feet 1 in Weight, 193 kilograms, 425 pounds. Diameter, 0.203 meters, 8 in. Wingspan, 1.02 meters, 40 in. Range, 45 kilometers, 28 miles. Speed, Mach 4. Guidance system, Marconi inverse monopulse semi-active radar homing. Warheads, high explosive expanding ring with proximity fuse. Warhead weight, 39.5 kg, 87 pounds. Users, UK, Royal Air Force, Saudi Arabia, Royal Saudi Air Force, Italy on leased Tornado F3s, Sweden, Royal Swedish Air Force. Date deployed, 1978. Date retired, approximately 2005-2006. Former operators Italian Italian Air Force Saudi Arabia Royal Saudi Air Force Sweden Royal Swedish Air Force made under license as the RB-71 United Kingdom Royal Air Force.